I'm back. That seemed good. I definitely did just, you know, run down the hallway just right to here for no reason, just for, you know, video, just for. I don't know what I'm doing anymore. Hey, um, yeah. Long time no see. No see. Oh my gosh, I can't talk. Long, long time no see. Um, let me explain something real quick. Um, my last video was posted, you know, mid quarantine. Um, and I had nothing to do, so you, you can't blame me for that. What you can't blame me for is then not posting the rest of quarantine. School to worry about. Hey, finals. I have finals coming up in two weeks. I Should I be making this video or should I be studying? Probably studying. Probably the latter. Probably studying. But instead I'm here making a video for you. And listen, you probably came to my channel, you know, for art. And I'm sorry. I Okay, we will be, of course, going doing art sometimes. But I decide, you know, I'm going to change it up a bit. I'm going to talk about a different hobby of mine, a different interest I've been expanding on for about a year, I think, a, yeah, a bit over a year now. And that interest, if you didn't see by the title, is manga or anime. Basically, I've gotten super into anime recently, like, super. Um, and I recently, without within like the last few months, I started collecting manga, which is the book version. And I've seen, you know, a lot of videos going like, oh, you know, top 10 mangas of all time, top 10, 10, 10 animes, um, favorite, all, all that stuff. I'm going to be doing about five mangas that I believe should be turned into anime um, that aren't already. There is one in this list that I don't know if it is getting an anime because I looked it up. It says it is, but there's no, like, date, there's no, like, projected, or, like, projected year that it is going to be getting an anime. So, I really don't know on that. These things like this get a lot of views. You know me out here trying to milk all those views. Yep. <laughs> I'm joking. I'm joking. I do these for fun. So, make, you know, an interesting video. I hope you agree. <laughs> I hope this isn't just a waste, but I don't think it will be. I just thought it'd be fun to post something like this. So let's dive into it. Oh, that was probably loud. Okay, so first we have this um, manga called One of Magician's People Smiles. Now, it's the omnibus version, so it's about, it's the whole series in one because there was only three mangas in the series anyway and i found this at barnes and nobles a bit ago like a while ago and i just bought it um and i read it in like two days it was better than i thought it would have been it kind of just looked like um it'd be a cute read oh my goodness it pulled and twisted me every way like sometimes i was just, I was just like oh i i feel for the main character and other times i'm just like no, 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 like, this man changes every two seconds. sad like it's reading it it was great um i would probably give the manga a eight and a half out of ten and the amount i would want it to become an anime is also an eight and a half out of ten now before we get on to the next one i do want to say right here this is the one that i looked up and it says it is getting an anime the manga is called Spy Family. Um, basically, this guy here, he's our main character. Um, 
His name's like his he's a spy. His so basically he's a spy. Um she's an assassin and she's a telepath. He gets a new mission to like get close to this one guy who like controls a lot of things in this country. So he is a but then uh so he's to try and get um like a kid into a school that he that the target runs and it's like this like really like pristine school he has to go and you know want to adopt a child so he goes to this goes to this really like sketchy adoption center and the dude's just like hey asks um so you know got any kids that read that write about the age of six like seriously this dude like He's supposed to be some sort of world-renowned spy, but he's so obvious. Who asked that? Well, her name's Anya, and she's adorable. <laughs> and and so, and then basically the adoption agent guy is just like, yeah, take a look around, telepath. And so she can read his mind. So, you know, she reads his mind just to get all the answers, and she passes. Then he goes to, like, you know, fill adoption papers, and the dude's just like, no, take her. We don't want her. It's funny. It's a good... It's very comical. Uh, then he realizes that there needs to be, like, two parents present at the, like, like, they go to talk with the school and, like, like a parent interview, kind of. And he realizes that there needs to be, like, two parents present for that. And so he's like, dang it. How am I going to do that? This lady, that's where we bring... That brings us to this lady. I... I can't remember what her name is. It's like, she's an assassin, and she works at this like n not knitting place. She works at this like clothing shop or like a tailor's, and she's a bit of a psychopath <laughs> at times. Coming in to like get her fitted for a uniform for the school, and they meet. They talk a bit. They realize that they both need some sort of you know significant other, and so they get like a fake marriage, and they form a family that has a lot of weird dynamics. Um, since she's a telepath, like, they don't, like, I, they both don't know she's a telepath. They don't know about each other, that, like, one's a spy and one's an assassin, but she does. She knows that they're both a sat, like, that she's an assassin and he's a spy. And it's really funny to see how, like, um, she reacts to, like, some of the things that they say in their minds. One time she's talking about, like... Like, they're, those two are, like, hugging, and she's talking to, she's thinking in her mind the last time she, like, hugged her brother, um, she accidentally, like, broke, like, three of his ribs, and that, like, that causes her to, like, come, like, jump away from her as quickly as possible. Love the series. This is probably, this is a nine and a half out of ten series in itself. I picked it up on a whim before I found out that it was getting popularity around also. And the amount I'd want to turn into an anime is 10 out of 10. Like, I really want this to become an anime. And I think it probably will. So that's where I'll end it first. Bye, family. Let's head on to the next one. Alright, so the next one that we have is one that I really, really enjoyed. I've And it's called Beyond the Clouds, The Girl Who Fell From the Sky. Listen, this is just... You can maybe tell from the cover, but this is a very cute series. The art is super cute, like, like, look at this. Um, it's very cute. I just, something about it just, like, draws you in. It, it's another one I just picked up because the cover <laughs> looked cool. Um, just because, I mean, it's watercolory. It's very unique. I, and I'm a, I'm a sucker for interesting or, like, like, really, like, pretty mo like covers on mangas and this one was no exception she's like an angel or something and this dude he's like a little kid he kind of works at this one shop where like people fix and build things and he finds this girl one day who's like landed in like the scrapyard and like she's like hurt one of her wings she's like an angel and like he's never seen an angel before like they're super like rare to see then this little little girl like She's just here, can't go back home, so he's gonna try and, you know, help her get back, and you see, like, kind of that, um, like, homemade wing right there. Like, that's what he's trying to make. He's trying to, you know, help her get back home, and yeah, it's just a very cute series. Um, the art style is very unique, like...
tell that a lot of, like, time and effort has been, like, spent, like, doing all of this. Like, like you can flip to any page and just see how, like, much work has been spent, like, crafting every little detail, like, even, like, the drawings, even, like, what they're reading about, like, little flower on the tea table, like, everything. You can just tell. So, I would, I read the manga probably a eight and a half. Um, the amount I'd want to become an anime would probably be a nine out of ten. Like, nothing. Like, no anime would be able to capture, like, how much detail went into this. Like, but if it did, like, that would be beautiful. That would be high, they need some high quality, like, top-notch like animators and like directors to make this a st as to make an anime as stunning as the manga is you know let's get into the fourth one the title um the blue period the title is a reference to um picasso's blue period which is when he painted things such as the starry night and so this kid, he's like a, he's a, I said gangster. <laughs> he's not a gangster. He's, he's a troublemaker. Um, but he's like a really smart kid. He just, you know, hangs out with his friends, eats food, watches sports games, stuff like that. It's just like, you know, uh, art's stupid. Why would you get a career in art? It's so unlikely that you'll ever succeed in art and stuff like that. But then he... He goes into the art room one day, and he sees this painting that, you know, just, like, catches his eye. He's just like, whoa. Like, having a whole, like, life change right there. <laughs> when he learns more about art, and how there's different types of art, such as, like, mixed media, um, digital, sculpture, stuff like that. I would rate the the manga probably a 9 out of 10, because it does have a lot of comical aspects, and I'm a sucker. I'm a sucker. Comedy. <laughs> The amount I'd want it to become an anime would probably be a 8.5 out of 10. If it ever does get an anime, I will be binge watching it the second that it comes out. Series. Um, now let's get on to the final one. Now, this final one is one that I picked up randomly. I'd never heard of it before, never seen it before. I found it at half price books for like six dollars and it's like I believe it's the whole series in one I will have to check to like fact check that um at some point hey 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 <sighs> no I'll wait I'll wait <laughs> Anyway, so this series is called Battle Royale. Basically, um, every once a year in like this country, a class of eighth graders gets chosen to be part of this, um, like experiment on how humans react to fear. It's not a good like. You don't want to be picked for this experiment. Like, there's like twenty kids. There is a um. Hi. Hi. <laughs> Second, like I think I'm gonna have a visitor. <laughs> okay. Oh, oh, oh gosh. Oh, okay. Hi. Hi. Uh, hi. Um, you know, quick, quick cat break, I guess. So, once a year, a class is picked at random to be part of that, you know. And, unluckily for our characters in this story, like, Hunger Games-esque. Only one person will make it out alive. But then they keep, like, adding things. Like, at one point, nothing has been happening for, like, two whole days. So, they add a... Oh, my goodness. Oh, my goodness. 
Goodness. I had a rule that um um if no one is killed within in like the next like 24 no it's, it's 12 hours that like everyone will die um and so they have to make like tough choices it doesn't really follow the it doesn't really follow what's happening within the um like actual experiment itself and more follows around with the characters and their lives it's just a one a one um one and done book just because like there's a lot of plot points that are left unfilled like we just jump around a lot but there's still just something about it that like made me just binge it in a night the manga maybe like a seven and a half the amount that i would want to become an anime would also be about a seven and a half um just because once again if it if it is a um multiple book series then that pro number probably jumps to like about a nine just because then maybe you know it will fill up plot points and stuff um and, like give us more answers to like what's going on but if it is just a one and done then it stays it is not much to really discuss about this book it's pretty simple but i do real i did really enjoy reading it it is one i put on this list because though it's not the top one it is probably at the bottom for ones that I'd want to be turned to anime, I still thought I'd include it. Just because, for some reason, I really like it. And I don't know why. <laughs> this is the end of the video. I hope you enjoyed this kind of change in topic on my channel. I just thought it'd be interesting um, just to, you know, branch out a bit. Of course, go check it out online. See maybe a more detailed summary than what I gave about it. Just... And yeah, I really hope you like this video. I thought it was interesting changing up my um, topics a bit on my channel. And I hope you enjoy it too. Let me know down in the comments if you liked this, you know, change. And maybe other videos that I could do maybe based or related to this subject of anime and manga. Or if you want maybe me to continue just doing art on my channel, or maybe a bit of both, you know, every once in a while I'll do some drawings, every once in a while I'll talk about anime and manga, um, and if you've, maybe, for some of you, this just opened a whole new door, like, you'd never heard of anime or manga before, um, like, you never heard of these, maybe you had, like, a rough idea of what it was, but, yeah, just let me know down below if you liked this, because... I want to, you know, hear from you. See what you enjoy. Well, anyway, bye. I don't have anything else to do. I will try and post more now that summer vacation is coming up. But that probably won't be for another two weeks or so since finals are coming up. And I probably should be studying instead of being up at 8 o'clock. Making a video about manga. <laughs> well, bye. Thanks for watching. I'm a sucker. I'm a sucker. I'm a sucker.